In this video, we will be looking at the order of operations. Now, the most common way of doing this is with the abbreviation BIDMAS, which a lot of you may have heard. So let's first of all talk about what these all stand for. So B stands for brackets. I stands for index, or sometimes in board mass, it would be order. But that just means the powers, so for example, squares or cubes. Uh, the D stands for dividing or division. The M stands for multiplication or multiply. And then we have add and subtract. So hopefully this is something you're a bit familiar with. Uh, but now we're going to look at why it's actually useful. So let's take a look at some examples. So this first example is quite a simple one. Um, but again, someone may look at this and think there's lots of different ways we could do this. But bid mass basically helps us. Um, use the right way. So let's make a little note of our bid mass up in the corner. First of all, we want to look at the brackets. Now we can see that there's brackets here. So that means that we have to solve everything within those brackets first. So let's rewrite the same line. But rather than have the 9 minus 5, we can put that into 4 because that's what that equals. So that now we've completed the brackets. Next we move on to the i. And as we knew from before, i represents index or indices. But here you can see we have no powers, so there's no squares or cubes. So we can skip that one, we can put a cross through that. Next, divide. We can see we do have a division here, 4 divided by 2, so that's what we do next. So 15 plus, and then 4 divided by 2 makes 2. So that one's all good. Multiplication is the next one. We can see we've got no multiplication, so again we can put a cross through that one. Finally we've got adding, and that is the final one. 15 plus 2 gives us 17. Perfect. Okay, let's look at another example. So we've got a little bit more going on here. And again, we can write our bid mass up in the corner. Now again, we start with our B. Brackets. We have brackets here. 3 plus 4. We know 3 plus 4 makes 7. And then we can write the rest of the line down. It's really important to keep writing these lines down in lots of different steps because... It can get a bit confusing and it can look a bit messy if you try and do it all in one. So I think that's really important. I, so index or the powers, as we knew from before. Uh, and here we do actually have an index. So we have that square there. So 2 squared, 2 times 2, gives us 4. So 7 times 4 divided by 2. Next, division. Now division, 4 divided by 2, we know that makes 2. So 7 times 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. M, multiplication, that is our final one. 7 times 2 makes 14. And there we have it. So one little side note, if we go on to the next page again, is when it comes to it, the order of the division and multiplication and the addition and subtraction can be any, direct, any way you want it. So if you had, for example... 15 plus 4 minus 3 plus 2 plus 1 minus 6. It doesn't matter how you do that. It's always going to come out of the same thing. And likewise, if you have 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 3 times 6. Because they're all division and multiplication or addition and subtraction up here and here, um, the order for this doesn't matter. So as long as you get it roughly in this order, then it's okay. Thank you for watching and I hope that helped.